Yo, what's up everybody? I thought I needed to make this video because a lot of people have this guy right here. Wait, there it is. <laughs> this guy right here, the Roxio Game Cap, and the audio after about a month or so goes to complete crap. And uh, actually mine didn't even take a month. It took maybe a week or two before I went to complete crap. And lately I've been using, or not lately, but <laughs> ever since I've been using this other Roxio. Um capture card to uh, record audio but I found out there's another way to get actual clean audio out of your Roxio game cap and you're not even going to use the audio inputs on the Roxio game cap so this isn't a fix for the Roxio but it is another way another easy way of getting audio from your game to record first thing you're going to need um, you're either going to need this or you're going to need one of these right here um, a female to a 3.5 mil female to RCA female, or you're gonna need one of these, which will make it easier. Sorry, my camera just shut off on me, but you're either gonna need either one of these, depending on what you're using to um to output the cable. You may need a splitter if you don't already have one, but at least you're gonna get some audio. So. Okay, first thing, if you have Turtle Beaches, you're going to have one output, depending on what kind of cables you're using. Um, since I have the standard cables, I have this right here, this output, so they're the, um, the male output, so I'm going to have to use this guy plus one more cable. So, after I connect that, I will show you. Alright, so now I'm going to need to connect a 3.5 millimeter male to 3.5 millimeter male. And I have one right here, which was from an eye dog, but it seems to work. So I'm going to need to connect this here. Oops, sorry. One end there, and the other end into your microphone input on your computer. Okay, now it just says that I plugged a microphone into the uh, audio jack, so next thing obviously is go onto the computer and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, now that we're in, <clears throat> now that we're in our computer, what we're going to need to do is, uh, well for the first thing, so we're going to go to uh, just click the little uh, hide button triangle thingamajigger there and right click um, the little speaker guy go to audio devices and go to recording and you're gonna see on microphone whichever one you plugged it into I swapped out the uh, front mic for the microphone that I'm using right now um, just just to make it easier and uh, so this is the microphone so I plugged it in the back port which just is called microphone so the game audio is plugged in right here and when I turn on the Xbox you're gonna see that Alright, you're going to see that that's coming out of there. And, um, okay, that's good. Okay, so you're going to see... Oh, why am I going to be... Oh, crap, it's lagging it. Never mind. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. When you first plug it in, uh, at 100. And uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is when you go into it, lower the level, click on the little levels tab, and lower it down to about 35 is what I usually do. To be to be the safest, to 35 is a safe and loud enough to uh, for you to hear. And then you're gonna want to go into the Roxio program. And it's so laggy, fraps. Um, okay. Then you're gonna want to go into options here and select from. Normally it's at. Where is it? Well, the Roxio doesn't have audio, but. You're going to select whatever one you uh, plugged it into, so microphone. And then here, you're just going to hit that and watch this. Oh, oh crap, that's not turned on. And, um, yeah, I don't have the cable set up, so I can't plug in, I can't control it right now unless I do something real quick. But, um, so now you're going to have some good audio. You're going to notice a little bit of feedback, but I had a some feedback with my standard RCA cables so that's probably what you're going to be getting so uh, 
now you're going to have good clean audio coming straight into your Roxio game cap and that's what you're going to be recording from so you're not going to be using any capture cards just a microphone input on your computer so hopefully this helps you guys out and uh... Oops. and uh... so don't forget audio devices recording and then select whatever one and make sure it has this bar right here and that's just t letting you know that it's actually plugged in there because this one normally is what I use to record. It's another capture card. And um, see, it's not showing anything because I don't have anything, any audio plugged into it right now. And since I have this plugged into the back, it shows that little bar right there. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Leave any questions, comments in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Later, guys.